Welcome from the Make Munich 2019. I'm Tom and this is Angelo and you have brought, you and your team have brought the Ant CNC, the compact PCB maker. What, what is this? I'm excited about this. It's a CNC uh, milling machine and uh, it's an open project uh, that we designed for every maker, every hobbyist to build his own PCB at home. Right, and, and that's, that's what hooked me. You guys are not a commercial seller, you're not making a profit. This is a hobby project, it's fully open source, it's fully 3D printed. Right, so what, what's, the, what's the specs, what does it do? It's uh, uh, doing uh, uh, milling, uh, drilling the, the holes, the, via, the vias, and uh, cutting the board. This is the, the main uh, work he's, di he's doing. And uh, up to now, we have a uh, precision of engraving of 0.2 millimeters and uh, quite a nice repeatability of, uh, of the elaboration of the working. Yeah. So if, if you guys saw my, my recent experiments with milling PCBs, uh, those, I mean, those worked, but those didn't turn out so great. But what you guys are doing is, I, I think that's, that's the kicker. You guys can do traces between vias or traces between pads reliably, and that's, this stuff is good, man. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, yeah. thank you. We hope that uh, uh, more people appreciate it and uh, build uh, our uh, machine at home. It's, uh, the, all, another characteristic of this machine is that uh, uh, all the parts are commercially available and uh, the, there are also 3D printed parts. So anybody that has a bit of ma manuality can, can build it at home. So the, the parts you're using, um, let's actually move to this one because this one is nicely lit up. So you've got 3D printed parts for the frames, you've got the 10 millimeter maker beams um, for basically the beams, but your, your spindle and your tool head is, is pretty special. What's, what's going on in there? Actually, uh, we, we improved this part to, to allow uh, uh, the, the, the engraving uh, uh, to be more precise. What we did, uh, we uh, use a, a brushless motor, but uh, we don't do use it directly as we did before. We just cap it with a uh, chuck uh, by, um, by pulleys and, uh, and uh, doing so dumps the vibrations and also allows us to, um, to have uh, the chuck uh, that is much more precise with the, with the tip. So uh, this solves a bit of problem solved a bit of problem to us. Yeah. So that's, a, that's like a commercial, uh, well, quadcopter brushless motor, basically. Exactly. We've got the, the Hobby King ESCs on there. Um, your Z-axis motor is pretty tiny. What are you doing for probing? What are you making, doing to make sure that your PCB is totally flat and level? We use open source software to, to probe, and uh, the probe is done by a matrix of points. We are probing a matrix of points, and uh, the open software, that is BCNC, is uh, automatically uh, correcting the, our G-code. And that uh, allows us to have uh, repeatability also on the Z-axis. That is, uh, was an issue, because the, the, these boards that are two euro, uh, 2 euro 50 boards have uh, copper that is not perfectly flat so we have to compensate for that and the, the probing itself is happening electrically I can see some some uh, alligator clips hooked up to your actual bit um, you've got an well what, what sort of, of tool mounting do you do what sort of tools can you use in here it's an ER8 normal chuck and uh, uh, afterwards, the, the part of probing, the uh, curious thing is that uh, it's uh, just uh, some headphones cable that we cut and uh, connect with uh, crocodiles connectors. Yeah. All right, so that's the that's the tool head. Electronics, I assume, is not that well, not that special. Um, it's it's kind of your standard CNC electronics, right? Yes, it's uh, we we used actually a nuclear board that is an STM32 uh, microcontroller. It's quite cheap. It's around fifteen dollars, yeah. and uh, we used uh, and it also has the characteristic that uh, that you can uh, put on it a, a Arduino shield because it has Arduino pins. So we port uh, we ported a GRBL uh, firmware. We modified it. Uh, and uh, afterwards, uh, we, we used uh, the, the shield and uh, normal uh, stepper drivers. Right. So it's the CNC shield that you see on other machines too. And this is a, 
But the thing I was thinking about, I mean, we have one, two, three machines here. We've basically got a, a very versatile Core XY motion system on here. This could be a 3D printer, right? Have you thought about that? Yes, but actually um, it's uh, really designed for doing PCBs. It's uh, quite small uh, and uh, we wanted it like that because uh, when we, we had the idea for this project, we wanted to, to do PCBs at home without chemicals and be able to open a drawer, store our machine, and then when we, we need it again, to open again the drawer and reuse it. That's the, the, main, uh, the main part. Uh, afterwards, uh, the 3D printing with uh, an X uh, Codex Y, uh, that, that's, that's nice, that's nice. Uh, but uh, I think there, are, there is much more 3D printers in the market, so that's not yeah. our goal. You, you, don't, you, don't need to be, you don't need this one to also be a 3D printer, there are plenty of other options no, for that as well. What you can do uh, that would be nice, and uh, we talked a bit about it, is uh, doing a laser engraving machine. Right, on the same platform? On the same platform, the, the nice thing of uh, the mechanical uh, designer, that is the other guy that is in the team, he designed this uh, machine to be scalable. Uh, and with this, I mean, uh, we are using maker beam frames. If you want to do it uh, uh, wider, you, you don't have to uh, design uh, the 3D printed parts again. You just uh, use another frame uh, beam that is a bit larger and uh, you're good. And you can also change the dimension. Of course, if you change this, uh, the dimension of, uh, of one side where there is the rail, you have to use also the rail that is uh, bigger. Yeah. yeah, you have to adapt. Of course. So, I mean, you're, you're not selling kits, you're not selling parts, um, oh. but how much would you, would you estimate this entire machine costs as it stands here? Uh, let's say the, the rough cost only of the materials is around $300, uh, let's say so. And uh, yeah. Uh, afterwards, you have to take in account uh, other costs, but that is uh, beyond our scope. We cannot do it because uh, anybody can uh, buy from different shops. Yeah. yeah, okay, so if people want to build one for themselves, I've <laughs> I'm, I'm already running out of, of uh, time to build these all these machines that I want to build. Where can they find more information on the Ant Compact PCB Maker? Actually, we have a repository and a YouTube channel. In the repository, you find all the files we are putting on. And the YouTube channel, uh, we are uh, putting on videos to show how to mount the, the machine. And uh, this machine, actually, we are mounting it uh, piece by piece and doing uh, a video while uh, we are mounting it. And uh, we are going to finish the last two parts with uh, electronic connection and uh, all that stuff. And afterwards, we'll, we'll, we will also, also put the bill of materials. Because now that we are doing the, the videos, we are double checking it. Yeah. We are do doing uh, videos, uh, bill of materials, double check. Very cool project. All right, thank you for taking the time. Thank you.